I have a Navian NPE 210A and it, it's worked very well for me so far, but it looks like uh, there's an air vent at the top of the, uh, the circulator pump right here and mine is leaking and this is the part number, the replacement part right here. I'm gonna see if I can replace that. I'm not a plumber, but I think I can do this myself. So I'm gonna start by turning off the machine. I'll also unplug it just in case. Shut off the water coming in. Shut off the water, the cold water to the unit. I'll shut off the hot water going out of the unit. I'm also gonna shut off the gas too. And I'm gonna open up uh, this drain port right here to drain it. Pretty sure I'll, I'll have to do that um, because that, there's obviously water coming out of there. And I'll pick up the video after that. So I opened up the drain port underneath uh, here. And then I also have a hose hooked up to a bucket to the service port on the cold water side. I'm gonna open that up and drain everything out. All right, hopefully you can see what I'm doing. I'm trying to do this in real time. So I kind of put a towel in here, expecting some of this water to come out. And I think I just have to take these channel locks and unscrew this, the top of this vent. Okay. That seemed pretty easy. Let's take that off. Do I have to pull this bar out to do that? I don't know. Can I just kind of muscle it out of the way? We'll see. Yeah. Okay. So that came off. Yeah, with the vent cap off, it lets water, you know, it's like letting your finger off the top of the straw. It lets the water run out of that service port into the bucket. So uh, what I'll do is I'll dry this off and I think I can just replace it. All right, I'm gonna change up the vantage point to put this back in here. It looks like you just have to, it gives you uh, the air vent, an O-ring, and then the, um, the female threaded uh, connector. And then it looks like you just have to seat this O-ring right there. Then I'm gonna put the female uh, screw on top and then looks like I just kind of set that in place and tighten okay that's hand tight now let's just tighten this down with the channel locks make that too tight. So I'll leave that there and I will reverse my steps and see if I have any leaks and if I need to tighten it I will. All right I reversed my steps and there are no leaks. Turn the gas back on, hot water valve open, cold water valve open, service port closed, plug back in, turn back on, main cold water feed uh, open and when I filled this unit it did separate out the air so it seems like that worked. Uh, it did drip onto the low voltage wire right here. It corroded the connection to the harness. So I have this part coming as a replacement uh, that connects to the a thermistor that's in the hot water outlet on the hot water side of the circulator. And this seems like it'll be a simple replacement too. I'll do another video on that. The hardest part of this replacement was really cleaning out the water uh, in between all the little parts at the base of the cabinet. Otherwise, it was very simple repair. I I'm not a plumber, but this was uh, easy enough to tackle.